welcome back to the program. My name is Nathalie Uku. You might understand why I did that. Now, the 35th edition of the Enugu International Trade Fair reportedly recorded massive, massive success. The events came to an end yesterday, actually on Monday. And if you watched it, you may have noticed that Afia TV did not miss a single beat. And as you may probably guess, in an environment where people have come to sell their products and make profits, the business morning guru could not have been anywhere else. Joining us now is the one and only Afia TV's business morning anchor and producer, Ubong. Thanks. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, good. Yes, please. Good morning. Well, it's well, good to be here. And you said, you know, it's, it's a different feeling each time I get to be the one receiving the questions. Yes. You know, it's, when, it's something that we all presenters you know, feel awkward. It's, when it feels are, really it's, awkward, really. When you're, when you're doing questions at them, like, ah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know the thing about journalism, mm. you want to relay the news, but no journalist would actually want to be the one yeah. in there on the exactly, other side. On side. It's, it's, yeah. it's the irony of the profession. The first yeah. question I have, Ubong, is why do you have that long gap between Ubong <laughs> And kings. Maybe How did that rope start? Bring it to <laughs> you know, your birthday. I wished that you would get a bridge to mm. connect the two parts of oh your. Oh my dream. goodness! So tell us why. Uh, let's just say it's been like they are professional for years. It's mm. just tradition. It's something I'm used to now. What's the evolution of the tradition? No, okay, you're, you're let's just say. I, I mean, we heard um, veterans, quite a number of veterans, pronounce their names or mouth their names. There's this deliberateness yeah. in mouthing their names. So you just hear the first name and they just give you a little pause, then they bring in this surname and I'm like, okay, I like it. And then I, you know, made my own very emphatic, you know, when I do it. So it's just what it is. Okay. <laughs> the smile's on your face right there. <laughs> okay. What? Deliberate. Yes, very we'll deliberate. We'll so start being deliberate with <laughs> yeah. yes. Natalie. No, I, I can't. I can't copy. <laughs> I can't copy with Wong style. I did that, and that would be the only time yeah, I would right. do that. <laughs> okay. now, now you were there. You yes. know, you were. Yes, co you covered. You interviewed people at the just concluded trade fair. What was your experience of it? Okay, initially, the first day we went, day one. In fact, before day one, actually, when they looked like nothing was going to happen. Because, frankly, it, it, you would literally see people still knocking up their tents, just yeah. starting. And it looked like, okay, let's just wait, let it start, right? Day one, and people are still putting up tents, and I'm like, okay, uh, when will they start selling? Well, um, fast forward to a few days before the end of the trade fair. You need to see numbers of people and uh, people right there coming up and uh, making things happen. And then, incidentally... Um, from what I found out, because, uh, you know, of course, we had to interview quite a number of persons. We got to find out that um, a lot of persons who have the opinion that this year's trade fair was far better than other years. Mm -hmm. Basically because they had a lot of exposure, and that exposure brought um, people to their businesses, and most people sold out that day, I mean, during the trade fair. So, uh, to me... I, I want to say yes, it was huge. It's not my first trade fair covering ever in my life. I've done quite a number, but uh, this one, I think it looked to me felt different. Really yeah, felt actually, different. with the uh, exposure, um, we are aligning to what Afia. Exactly, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. That, yeah. That's what I mean because it was it was different. We had TV, we had radio right there. So whichever of the platforms that you're comfortable with, we merged both of them together. And that to me was, was, was wonderful. All kudos to production team, really. Yeah, and everybody out there that was hearing definitely all that information being mm -hmm. uh, yes. passed through. Okay, yeah. now, now we're looking at massive success in your opinion. Now, what are indices that we can use to actually measure that this recorded massive success? You've spoken about the large patronage that the business owners received. Right. What are other parts of it that made you feel that this year, seen as you attended previous years, that this year struck out different? Now, the difference here is, number one, um, when media comes into a space, especially viable media outfit like Afia TV, uh, of course, you know. Now, the, the thing here is we didn't just go there to cover, just show what's happening. We also went there to experience the fair so that even you were home watching you could feel the pulse of what was happening there and that in itself that made the people 
um, drew the people into the fair, that in itself gave persons who were selling an added advantage. Why? Because people were giving out phone numbers free of charge on air. And you would have businesses call. As a matter of fact, um, I remember I interviewed some few persons during the beginning of the trade fair. Then at the end, till end, in fact, the last day of the trade fair, I was able to interview some more people. And I tried to compare what they said when they started with what they are saying at the end. And you find that there was a huge difference. The difference here was the fact that we started out slow, but at the end, we pretty much sold out. You know, so, and that to me, for any businessman, as far as to show the trade fair was concerned, that would be a plus. In fact, that would be the, um, the, the, icing on the cake for them really or the cherry no okay if you want <laughs> if you like prefer cherry okay, let's that's get fine. the pros and the cons because we're just talking about the positivity everything that yeah. happened how it all happened and all that but definitely though you know to the yin and the yang it has to balance so let's talk about the challenges and you know some you are experiencing you're know, having that first experience and all all the, the challenges people are experiencing even after tv2 and radio being there and that so, so let's talk about the challenges because definitely talking about this could actually enhance the forthcoming um, um, trade fair, which is going to be next year. Right. We're even giving out, giving out the date. Yes, the date. Fourth, fourth, fourth April, yeah. Right, so, and all that. so I think talking about the challenges and all that could actually aid, you know, to get it better next year. Right, right. Talking challenges now, I think one of the major challenges, which of course I, I posed to the um, DG Esima, uh, I, I did ask him the question because uh, some of the feelings I got from the persons who, the vendors who came, was the fact that there was not so much adequate publicity, so to speak. Okay. It was just limited to some extent. So I asked him and he said, um, I spoke with him yesterday on the business, Affair Business Morning, and one of the key things he said was, they're not just going to rely on traditional media that's uh, terrestrial TV, radio, that they're going to go um, social media too. Now the reason is they are expecting to reach more people and go outside the shows of uh, Nigeria, so to speak, to get more people to come in and to be part of uh, next year's edition of the trade fair. And incidentally, even this year, we had uh, people um, people from the international community come. We had people from China, from India, who came and uh, you know displayed their wares and uh, technology and all of that. And that was huge. But then what? One of the major challenges was um, in the end, did he have enough publicity to that effect? Because what turned out, uh, by way of, um, if we were to look at the persons who came, we'll find out that we had more people from outside Enugu come than people within Enugu at the fair. And that to me was a minus, if you ask me, because if it's happening in my backyard, I should be there. You get it. What, what, what would you uh, say that, that made them uninterested for not you know, showing up? You know, I, I, from what I found out, I think previous editions were, were ticketed, were gated. I mean, there was yeah. there was money you yeah, had to that, pay. Now, yeah, I, yeah I, know, so, I know right from time you have to pay right. to have get access into, into the, and it used to be massive, it used to be like a carnival, right? There yeah, are a lot of when things. Was in town before they moved to not like it's it's, it's, our, it's our sketch right now, but I know it's the uh, uh, well. I would say when it was moved to golf, it was kind of detached a bit. But I think the city is coming together because that exactly build up already, exactly you know, and people are living around that that, that, that exists. Already. Yeah. So I think we are getting connected back to that area, right? Because I, I, where I could remember vividly when they moved trade fair to the golf area mm. it was more of uh, i'm going to go through a journey before i get, to, get to that right now yeah. the city is getting together like people are building around there you know, yeah. building around there and stuff right? and the roads itself are being yeah. graded and stuff so that is a plus too you know the state government actually came into this massively to support the event and uh, i would say according to the smr dg who spoke yesterday he said that the state government is not resting on their hours anyway. Mm -hmm. They are going to keep doing what they need to do to make the, the complex what it should be. And talking about turnout with reference to um, uh, last year, this year, truth of the matter is it was, it was, it was a little crazy initially when the trade fair started because a lot of people were of the opinion that it's, it's a function of the fact that 
the economy is, is wonderful as it were, and people, I didn't want to use the word hope that came to my head first, but um, you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So the economy is the way it is, and um, people are actually trying to save as much money and not throw away money yeah. like that unnecessarily, right? It's, it's but then again, it, it thinks you, can actually you get... Like from for some price could actually be slashed because let, let me let me let me trade. let me shock you. Are you aware that one of the sponsors, Dangote, who was at the fair, actually Wait, after the hold that thought. Okay, we'll go on a quick break. All right, the morning show returns shortly for that. Right. Well, should I say inside gist? Stay with us. Welcome back to the AFIA Morning Show, still on the topic of the 35th International Trade Fair. And of course, on set with us is our business morning anchor and producer, Ubong Kings. Please, <laughs> drop that bomb. What did Dango take? Oh my goodness. Okay, what we tried to say just before the break was the fact that um, uh, this is still in correlation with the fact that we, we saw massive sales and all, even though it was anticipated that persons would not come out, right? Now, after uh, one of the sponsors, so in person of Dangote Group came on the live set there at the trade fair, um, just after they left, that same day they sold off everything. Yeah. That same day. Now, that's to show you that persons were watching, people were listening. And that's the, the if, that's effect media can have on an event, live coverage of an event. And that's exactly what Afia TV was able to achieve. And Afia Radio was also able to achieve. And that, to me, was a plus as far as the um, 35th uh, International Trade Fair was concerned. All yeah. right. Now, let's talk about the presentation of states. We are aware that Ebony State had a, a uh, pavilion there. Right. But other states like Imo, Anambra, where were they? Uh, that particular part. Yeah. Is, uh, Sorry, wait. <laughs> I can remember way back, right? You mm. see Calab, M M M M Cross River. Right. You see Delta. You see when, like, like states come and display what they are known for, their tradition, all that, in their pavilion. Well, mm. I, I was mm. a little bit disappointed when I just saw just a boy. boy. And that um, would not completely be the fault of the organizers. I want to absorb them of that. Why? <laughs> right? Because they were, all of them were reached out to. Okay. So it is a function of who, you know, got back to them and decided to, you know, be part of the event. Really, that's what it is. Now, because it's like this. Someone has an event, tells you, hey, I would love you to come be part of it. And uh, this is what it will take for you to be part of it. And then you pretty much maybe don't respond even after I keep coming back to you, or eventually you, you, you just decline interest. So however it is, uh, what we understand is the fact that the ones who came around were the ones who, were actually, uh, who actually had interest and wanted to come around. That's what it was, really, basically. And uh, I know that um, they will do better this year because it's, it's, it's more, sorry, next year, rather, because it's more or less building on what you've been able to achieve and yeah. make it better. All really? right, for a second, I thought you were organizing your own trade fair. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, now a lot of attention was given to the government. We had the DG, you know, thanking the government for all the support. In what ways did the state government assess, if you're aware? Oh, whole lot of ways. The road that leads to that particular um, complex, the government took it upon themselves to grade, at least grade the road. Within the complex, we had roads where they were tired already, government. 
there was a um, uh, complex that is being built. The foundation was laid on the first day of the event, courtesy government. So, and oh, I forgot to mention, there was a tent, a full tent, a full capacity tent with ACs that was sponsored by the government for SMEs in Enugu State. Never happened before. First ever where SMEs could actually come showcase their wares right there, courtesy the state government. So yes, the state government was actively and completely involved in this particular project. So yes, some kudos should go to the state government, yes. All right, Oji. Well, you said it all and all that, and I'm just hoping that um, the Tadisis, um International Trade Fair is going to be wowing more than it is this year. Yeah, they've recorded an amount of success. Success, yeah. yeah and I just hope that we could actually go back to the glory days of trade fair of like yeah. yesteryears, like yeah. yesteryears was, it used to be a carnival. Yeah, a carnival, that's the word. But then again, um, you know, things have changed, right? Well, <laughs> that's why it's, a that's lot has changed. No, no, you're saying, since okay. the beginning of the show, my, my since the beginning of the show, Oji has been talking about Easter, yesteryears, right? Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, Easter, talking about all the food he ate, and even telling people to meet him at the Enugu ICC for the continuation <laughs> of the carnival. Please. So lots of um, festive words. Have been, you know, mm. dropping mm. on the yeah, show lot of today. Celebrations. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. All work and no celebration makes you a. It, it makes somebody. OG a dope boy. Because right now, <laughs> and, I think and, I and talking celebration, uh, we were celebrated at the 35th International Trade Fair, where we were given an award yeah. for participation. And I think that's also a plus for Afia TV. All I right. Know. Now, it, we're that. looking at trade fair and what it means to the Southeast region. If next year, thinking progressively, we have all the Southeast states do as much as the Enugu State Government did for the trade fair, what do you think it would mean for the region if such a commercial event is hosted in this area? I think it would do a whole lot of good. You see, one of the issues we have here in the South is, is we do not have so much of collaboration when it comes to all the southeastern states. It's not really there, right? Everyone functions by himself or of himself. And that in itself, though it has its own peculiarity and strength, doesn't really amount to so much. Forgive me, but that's what it is. But imagine the whole Southeast decide that they're going to have an international trade fair that shows the strength of the Southeast with reference to commerce, ingenuity, creativity, and culture. It's going to be epic. And, you know, truth of the matter is, um, we're looking forward to a day that that will happen. And... It's so going to boost the whole economies of the southeastern states. Why? Because all of them will be represented there. And you find out that I may like so so stuff that comes from a Boeing state and opens me up to the fact that I could visit a Boeing state to see this thing. Tourism grows. I may lodge in a hotel. Their economy grows. At the end of the day, eat their food. Their food, um, food um, industry grows. And that in itself is one way that um, uh, the Southeast could build the economy, trade fairs, cultural activities, etc. And all of that, until we come together, not much will be done. That's the truth. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Pleasure. And yeah, perhaps Pleasure. we'll have you on set some more, more oh, often. Oh, oh, well. So that okay. we can interrogate. Dream. Interrogate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it seems quite comfortable. They're a bit no, too comfortable. Maybe we're too easy. It uncomfortable because he doesn't like been answering the questions. You know, he, likes, he likes to be the one to do those it? questions to the <laughs> <laughs> guests and stuff. Right? It's okay. Uh, it's all right. Fine. Thank you so much for joining the show. It's a pleasure. Thank you.